I'd like to congratulate the National Council of Resistance of Iran uh, for the election of Mrs. Mariam Rajavi as its president-elect. Uh, uh, to ensure that the people of Iran take back their country. We've all been watching what's been happening in Iran for a long time. Down with the dictator. Down with the oppressor. Be the Shah or no. In the name of human rights. Testing the gas on the school girls to develop it for future protests. We've had uh, one full debate on the Iranian issue and I joined many other colleagues from both sides uh, of the House in calling for the IRGC to be prescribed and that was before these latest horrendous uh, poison attacks against women and schoolgirls. Uh, I'd like to congratulate the National Council of Resistance of Iran uh, for the election of Mrs Mariam Rajavi as its president-elect uh, and um, I'd like to uh, endorse, as I have done on previous occasions, her 10-point plan and other platforms to secure women's rights uh, in the future uh, of Iran. Uh, and I'd like to call on the international uh, community to recognise uh, Mrs Rajavi uh, and her 10-point plan. I welcome our government's declared position and determination to hold this regime to account. And I'm encouraged by the government putting women and girls' rights at the centre of our policy. Uh, so I believe we should have an independent uh, international investigation into these attacks uh, in Iran. Um, that the regime in Tehran um, are visiting human rights abuses on the population generally um, of that great country, uh, but in particular uh, the way uh, that they are targeting uh, some of the most uh, vulnerable, uh, like schoolgirls. The very mm. uh, idea uh, that schoolgirls would be poisoned mm. by their own government to try and intimidate um, protest, to try and intimidate girls away from education. But the human rights situation has just become worse and worse, and this I mean, the, the, the recent kind of protests and then this poisoning of schoolgirls. I think, uh, what can one say? Uh, it really is time to just, for everyone to come together. I want to say we're with you, um, all of us, in the Commons, in the Lords, in, in, the, in the UK Parliament, we're with you. We want to stand shoulder to shoulder with you. We want to make the world realize that um, this just can't go on any longer. Violence against women is justified, legitimate, legitimated by the rulers, enforced by no fewer than 26, 26 so-called security agencies existing to corral and capture women enforcing mandatory dress codes whilst denying decent lives to the people who live in poverty, too often abject poverty. It's about 44 years of uh, corruption, uh, oppression, suppression, discrimination against women. That is why from day one people came out and chanted death to Khamenei, death to uh, um, dictator. And at the same time they were saying Death to the oppressor, be it the Shah or the Mullahs. They are playing their last cards to remain in power. People in Iran are chanting. And last Friday we had his, uh, his slogans again. Mm -hmm. Down with the dictator. Down with the oppressor, be it the Shah or the Mullah. The message is clear. They don't want the current uh, misogynist and the oppressive regime. And also they don't want to go back in history to the previous monarchic dictatorship. The revolution will happen in Iran, and this is what people want. They are chanting, don't call this a protest. I'd like to congratulate the National Council of Resistance of Iran uh, for the election of Mrs. Mariam Rajavi as its president-elect. Uh, 
uh, to ensure that the people of Iran take back their country. We've all been watching what's been happening in Iran for a long time. Down with the dictator. Down with the oppressor. Be the Shah or In the name of human rights. Testing the gas on the school gas to develop it for future protests. 